So today is going to be a bit of a longer video and we're going to be talking about valproate. Sometimes it's called sodium valproate as well and sodium is added on to medicines for multiple different reasons but it's usually just to aid absorption. So valproate, the brand name is Valpres Epilim or Valpro and what it's used for is to treat epilepsy and bipolar disorder. Epilepsy is reoccurring seizures. It can be caused by something that is unknown or because of some reverse medical condition like alcohol withdrawal or extremely low blood sugar. And there are multiple mechanisms, all of which are not fully known, but they believe that valproate prevents repetitive neuronal discharge by blocking the voltage and use dependent sodium channels and it can also enhance GABA which is gamma aminobutyric acid and inhibits glutamate and blockade of T-type calcium channels. So again there's multiple mechanisms and all of them are not fully researched to say that this is the exact mechanism but this is what they have found so far. If you experience any of the side effects or if the patient experiences any of these side effects, it's necessary to go to the doctor immediately. These side effects include nausea, vomiting, increased appetite, diet is a big thing with this medication, dizziness, drowsiness, jaundice, fever, rash, abdominal pain, bruising, and bleeding as well. So definitely contact your doctor if any of this stuff happens. Do not stop taking this medicine abruptly or suddenly unless your doctor tells you to. You're unlikely to get any extra symptoms when you stop taking this medication. However, if you are taking it for epilepsy, it's possible that you can get seizures again once you stop taking it. And for women, it's actually not the best medication to be taken. If you are trying to get pregnant or you are pregnant, it has been known to cause abnormal fetal development. And for women who are breastfeeding, it should generally be safe to use, but monitor the baby for a rash, specifically a petechial rash. Petechae are formed when tiny blood vessels called capillaries break open. And when these blood vessels break open, blood leaks into your skin. So the baby might have tiny red flat spots of blood basically that appear in the skin and that's not good. So if you see that in your baby, talk to your doctor as well. You should take this with food to reduce stomach upset and swallow the whole tablet. Do not crush or chew it because of the absorption. It can get affected. And initially, it's an oral medication, 600 milligrams daily in two doses, and it can be increased every three days by 200 milligrams according to the response of the patient. And there's also a maintenance dose. It's given orally or by an IV, and it's one to two grams, around 20 to 30 milligrams per kilogram daily in two doses. So it definitely depends on the patient's weight as well. But that is all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and stay tuned for the next one. <laughs>